Now in this segment on moving and handling persons, we're looking at emergency type moves, which categorize as urgent. So this is a life over death situation. We're not going to be as concerned about immobilizing the person so that we um, you know, have them all packaged beautifully. We're really more concerned about moving this person to a place of safety where we can continue treatment or get them completely off the scene completely. Now this first, uh, we're gonna be covering several types of emergency moves. This first one is called the clothes drag, the single person clothes drag. Uh, we need to make sure that they're wearing a durable shirt. A t-shirt is not going to work. In many cases, if they only have a t-shirt on, it's going to pull right up and over the top of their head and then therefore it'll be ineffective. We need to also make sure that if the person cannot hold their hands together, that we use some type of tying device just to keep the wrists somewhat together so that they don't flop out to the sides, get uh, in the way of going through doorways or catch on certain things as we're moving the person. It does, again, this is an urgent emergency move. This does not have to be pretty. It just has to be effective. So I have this person's arms secured. I keep them on their stomach. I then bring myself to the head of the, of the person. Remembering now, this is a high risk moving activity. Ergonomics is going to be key to saving our backs. We're going to use the palms of our hands face up so that we're using biceps and power moves to be able to help lift this person slightly as we stand up in a crouch position. Back should be straight and locked, head in an upward position to remind us to keep that arch. And now, using our legs, we begin to walk backwards. <laughs> 